Hey, welcome back to Woodward and Copper. I'm here with Ginny Bradley, and I think both of us can say kudos goes out to Miliza and Sarah Vane. Kind of like Vladimir Putin and Sarah Palin working together. It's just a beautiful thing. Oh, that's scary. Oh, yeah, it's a pair that beats three of a kind. Now, here's the deal, <laughs> Ginny, longtime Summit County local. I know you as a hockey player, a skier, uh, kind of a traditional athlete. This is a bit new to you at uh, Woodwards, and what is the trick you're going to be attempting today? Well, I have worked really hard on my Rodeo 540. Nice. And it's a very unique trick, mm -hmm. and I'm excited because halfway through the trick, I get to say yippee i -yay. Wow. Mm -hmm. well, all right. Giddy up. Now, let's talk about the uh, modality, the program that you're representing sure. at the Summit Community Care mm -hmm. Clinic. I am representing the school-based health centers, and it's an awesome program. School-based health centers are in all four of our uh, four of our schools that's the high school the middle school silverthorne elementary and dillon valley and it's basically bringing a doctor a dentist a therapist into the school and it's we need all the support we can get it with sure. all the publicity in recent times about columbine and about mm -hmm. aurora especially the behavioral health piece is is critical right now that there's kids in summit county that need more support and that's really what the care clinic's doing we're able to provide a therapist there and then at the same time if your teeth hurt and sure. you want a dental screening you can have that done and if you have a cold and you need a strep culture you can have it all done at the same time i mean i, I think of it as physical dental and behavioral heading off problems at the past yeah. getting it before it become a problem and that actually is very fiscally prudent because but with a little bit of effort Early on, you can save big, big effort and big spending later you on. You got it. And the other thing is it, it's, it's cost effective as, w as well with parents. You, you don't have to take off work to take your kid to the yeah, doctor. It's perfect. all right there. All right. Well, hopefully uh, your significant other will not have to take you to the doctor after your rodeo 550. 540 or 550? 540. Well, it might be a 550 don't if I do extra. Yeah, just don't do a 520 because then you'll end up in the parking lot. You ready? I think I'm ready. Let's get at it. A rodeo 520. Who knows? Yeah. I'm gonna ask you something. You know, I'm a senior athlete. Uh -huh. I'm getting ready to do this. What do I do if something leaks out? Um, in the jump. Gra grab a sponge. <laughs> grab a like, sponge, Jane. Just grab a sponge. Oh, oh, great idea. Do, yeah. do you have any depends? Shampoo her boots before she competes. Ginny Bradley from the Summer Community Care Clinic. Now, cheerleader or? or uh, it's a metaphor. It right? is. I am a cheerleader of life. Yeah, you're an enigma wrapped in a riddle. Now, once you move it, are you ready? I am ready, my 540 rodeo. I really should be wearing that cowboy hat. Yeah. But are you going to be kind of like doing this? Yeah, I think so. Yippee, ah, yeah, baby. That's all, all I want. I'm all ready. right. High five. You got it. Go do it. All right. I had my doubts. I thought that you'd suffer from a aerodynamic deficiency with those those furry feet that actually worked out. Well I thought about braiding them yeah. or shaving, but I like them. Well some of the county gals never shave. Yeah. Congratulations and it was a worthy cause. You came out of it unscathed and it's all the benefit of the community care clinic, which we both know is a worthy cause. Uh, nothing better in the camp. Alright, we'll see you next time for a 1080 road here. Next next uh, can I do it in my wheelchair? Yeah, probably that would be the case. Alright, awesome. see you next Thanks. year.